Hey Tube, does your car not start like it should? Does your battery not crank over like it used to? Does it not give out enough juice? I'm going to show you how to fix that today. It's an old Everstart battery. Um, most people call them Never Starts, but I yeah, think lawnmower ones work pretty good. I'm going to be prying these open here. Er, but that's to be done in the future. i put this off to the side. What you're going to need screwdriver, your battery, Epsom salt, Epsom salt only, do not get anything else, that's Kroger brand, um, get only Epsom salt, table salt will not work, because it doesn't have all the funny little things that it has to have, and a spoon, and distilled water, that is the Epsom salt in there, um, now a battery this size will take Battery this size will take, this is just a regular lawnmower battery, will take about 8 to 9 tablespoons, I've got 10 in there, um, of Epsom salt. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to bring some distilled water almost to a boiling point, and slowly put it in here to where it almost um, dissolves all of the salt. Um, reason being is you want as thick as you possibly can, just really thick uh, mixture. And then uh, I'll go on from there. Alright YouTube, so that's all mixed in there. It's 10 tablespoons. Very little water. You can still see a little bit of Epsom salt down inside there. Yep, see it? But that's the way you want it. You want just a little bit still not dissolved because the, the salt... Um, content of the water so large there's so much um, salt already in the water that no more salt dissolves that's exactly the way you want it um, this is distilled water in here and this is distilled water in here uh, I found that this little Tupperware I'm using um, which you don't need to use a big one um, cools down very quickly so I've got it sitting in the big tub of distilled water you want to keep this as clean as possible um, you don't want any contaminants in the water before you put it in with the salt and you don't want any contaminants while you're mixing in here I haven't even touched in here like you don't you don't contaminate it anyways um, the next step is pull these off there's that one there's here that one and yes I'm doing this inside my house <laughs> and there's downside these one by one if I can focus here but anyways, down inside the there, there's terminals. If I can, I wish I had my flashlight right here somewhere. Oh, I see it. In a second. Like I was saying, in here are the lead plates, whatever they're made of. There's that one, there's that one, that one, and that one. As you can see, they're all low, actually, on this um, particular battery. Uh, they should be uh, fuller than they are, but they aren't. So what you want to do is you want to try to make it as equal as you can. Well, actually, you're probably going to laugh at me, but this is like a, you know those little self-made uh, popsicles that you make? Yeah, this is a top to one, and it happens to have this very handy little drain, or something you would suck the juice out of when you're uh, drinking, or you're eating one of your homemade popsicles. So I'm going to set it up like that, and pour the salt into here. I have to clean that out. There's some contaminants in there. And you want to just try to get it as even as you can in each, in each of these. And then check the, the level in there. Um, if it needs more, uh, make just a little bit more of this. And then pour it in uh, each one until, until um, you start seeing acid above the terminals inside there. there let me get this right again. Like you want to see acid above those inside there, you know. And that's that's how much acid acid it should have. A little bit more than that's okay. You just don't want to top it off to where it that water actually or the acid starts coming out of here. That's way too full, and it, you can fry your batteries doing that. But alrighty, so well off camera here. I'm going to pour that into each one of these as even as I possibly can, and. Uh, I'll go to the next step. Alright YouTube, got that uh, Epsom salt uh, mixture added. 
to my EverStart battery. Um, this thing's old. And I have no idea how old it is. <laughs> I found it sitting in my friend's garage of their rental house. And as you can see, those are nice to pop off now. But yeah, I found it in their rental house. It was uh, almost all the acid was gone in it. And it was dead. So I filled it up with some acid I have sitting in some old batteries. And charged it up. It charged just fine. I've been using it for about a, uh, about a year. About, yeah, about a year now. And it's just starting to get a little slow. It doesn't have the kick like it used to. So this is what you do. Um, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and cap these back off. It doesn't matter which one you want to what. Just got to make sure they're on the right way. They just pop down all the way. Make sure you, because there's there's three chambers in each one. Go over each chamber and push. Oh. You don't want any acid on any of your clothes. It will eat right through them. My mother should know. <laughs> She's washed plenty of things of mine with acid in them, and they come out looking like rags, like like that. That's acid. Right, ran through, right, right uh, through my canvas coat. Anyways, uh, a little dirty. Oh well. All right. So next thing you want to do is add some salts in there. Uh, tip it back and forth a little bit. Slosh it around in there. You can hear it. Listen to it. Yeah, just like that. I go back and forth and back and forth. Not upside down, just back and forth. Just like that. I want to take a charger. This is my old, really good, trusty old. I have no idea how you pronounce that battery charger. <laughs> Schweier? Schweier? I don't know. Okay, this is the next step. I haven't started it yet. Um, take your battery that you're treating and hook it into a high-powered drain device. Uh, most of the time people will just plug them into like a single light or whatever. Like something that really draws a lot of power out of it. Not like a little cell phone charger or something like that. Something that really takes some juice out of it. And uh, so I plugged it into my, my car here. Positive terminal is disconnected. Car has been sitting forever. Alrighty. It smells good inside. I'm not gonna start it. Just gonna turn the lights on. Turn the brights on. Turn the radio on. You know. Just drain it, you know. Maybe even turn the wipers on. There you go. Nah, not really. But you get the idea. Just drain it until it is totally dead, like flat dead. Well, not exactly flat dead, but flat enough to where the the lights, the, the lights in the front of the car are brown, you know, until they're pretty much dead. And then uh, we'll go on from there. The next and final step is to charge it up again. That's right. As you can see, it's fully charged. It's sitting on uh, sitting on one. So yeah, it's fully charged. Um, actually, I charged it up and let it sit for like three days now. Came back to it, plugged it in. Still the same amperage, it's holding that charge really well now. Before it didn't do that, it would slowly lose the charge. Okay, these are the next ones to uh, <laughs> to be tried out on. Um, I know for a fact now that that treatment does work on this battery. And these are the batteries to my dad's big uh, 
Ford diesel truck. As you can see, some more never starts. Um, he swears that he'll never buy another battery from Walmart. He hates them. Um, he's gone through quite a few Walmart batteries in his truck, and I don't blame him for not wanting to buy another one. So uh, we'll do that treatment on these, and we'll see if it works. I'll keep you guys updated. Cool. See you later, YouTube. Bye.